Yo, hello. I've been getting a lot of questions on the quality I have on my video for the past five days and everyone wanted a tutorial. So I'm going to show you how I get that quality and all the steps on After Effects and Topaz. And you'll also need media encoder for this. So you drag your clip into Topaz and choose the scene you would want. I'm choosing this scene right here and you want to switch your settings over here to Protus. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell, pronounce it. I'm not sure. Fine tune and over here on the settings. You want to have the revert compression to 90. This is what I found to be the best in my opinion. Recover details, 90. Sharpen, 75 to 80. If you go too much, it kind of just ruins it. I feel like in my opinion, like the, like the edges will just be super, super sharp. And you kind of don't want that in your videos. So 75 to 80 is I think the best. Reduce noise, 90 to 100 is also the best. Dehalo, you could go from 15 to 20. Uh, just depends on how your edit is and then anti-alias and deblur to 10 and I render these or I export these in uh, 1080 1920 by 1080 so then you would just start the process all right after you drop in the clip into after effects you want to add an adjustment layer um, and then I'm gonna show you my preset that I have Make sure you click on the adjustment layer and then add the preset. Take off sharpen. You don't want sharpen. Detail preserving upscale. Everything at 100 by cubic. I have it set. Uh, saturation at 20. I add just a little bit of uh, saturation, not too much. Um, unsharp mask makes a big difference in the clip as well. Just take it. You can already tell a big difference. It's not as hazy. It's not as blurry. It just sharpens it up just quite a bit. And then... Uh, for my magic bullet looks, I have haze set on here. You can just take out haze. You don't really need it. And then LUT. I have my LUT set to Los Feliz. You can always change it depending on your clip. You can just hover over it. It shows you what it looks like. And uh, you can choose which one you think is best for your clip. And then just hit that check mark from here. You just want to export it, hit it to the render queue, set it to lossless. And then on the uh, output folder, you can just change it to whatever you want. doesn't matter. And then just render it. Okay. After it's done exporting, you want to throw into Topaz. All right. Once you get into Topaz again, uh, you're going to want to drag in your clip that we just rendered from After Effects. If it doesn't show up, it's gray. You can't move anything around. You can't do any of this. Just uncheck it, check it again, and then it just should should work. Uh, you can see the clip here. It's it's clear, but not you know four four K clear clear. So I'll change it to Protus Fine Tune. Every version of Topaz should have it. I'm on two point six point four. Um, this is the newest one I could find. Uh, there's newer versions, but I can't find it. So this is the best I can do. Uh, if you have an older one, most of this stuff still applies. Uh, same thing with After Effects rendering it. On all versions 2022 2021 2023 it's all the same i'm on 2024 you just put it on lossless it's all the same revert compression 90 recover details 90 uh sharpen 75 to 80 uh depends i'll put it on 75 sometimes i'll go 70 if i feel like the clip is already sharpened enough you can just put it down a little bit 70 um to 75 i'll put it on 75 uh noise 90 to 100 uh some clips i mean you can see on like the edges out here the background um you can see a little bit of noise uh and especially the jacket uh if you put it to 100 sometimes the clip will look mushy and a little look just nasty you don't you don't, you don't want that so you want to put it at 90 uh or even less sometimes depending on how old the anime is this one's newer so uh, i mean it's from a trailer so it's a lot newer and you can just put it at 90 to 100 it won't really matter and then dehalo to 15 and then anti-alias blur around 10. It's not that much blur in the clip anyway, so you can just put it around 10 and then just process it. Another tip on the bottom left, when you see it's rendering or exporting, uh, if it says two seconds or like three seconds per frame, uh, just turn off your computer, like just cancel this, turn off your computer and then um leave it around a minute or two before you turn it on 
and then once you turn it on load back into topaz load the clip back in with the same settings it won't save all the time so you have to change it the settings on the right side um and then just re-export the clip because once you render in after effects it it's pretty heavy on your computer so sometimes in topaz not all the time but sometimes it'll just four seconds a, a frame four five seconds a frame and it'll be like 20 minutes for your edit to be done when realistically it should be two minutes for your edit to be done uh upscaling to 4k which is annoying to do but it's well worth it you're not waiting 30 minutes you're waiting like five minutes max for your edit to be done uh, upscaling so uh, that's another thing as well all right after topaz uh you want to come over to media encoder grab your clip once you drag the clip into media encoder click on this mine is copy of best settings because it's a preset but i'm gonna show you my settings uh here i just check this render at maximum death uh use maximum render quality at the bottom turn on hardware encoding so that way it's using your graphics card instead of your processor to encode these things and profile set the high not main or high 10 level 5.1 uh everything else the same then once you get to bitrate settings this is when uh, a lot matters so i use cbr i've tried vbr2 and vbr1 uh i found cbr which just means constant bitrate which means the bitrate is constant throughout the whole entire video no matter what uh vbr pass will just pass once through the video and it'll be at whatever bit rate you set it to vbr2 i've tried it um i don't think the quality is that good compared to cbr and i changed this to 25 uh bit rate and it went from 166 megabytes to two megabytes uh, it also doesn't decrease the quality of the video all it does is samples the file size from it being huge to it being tinier so that way there's no problem with relating to youtube tiktok instagram or anything like that the quality stays the same the only thing that's changing is the uh file size which is a huge difference from uploading it to tiktok instagram or anything like that and then you hit the the start queue and you're done also another thing for file transferring from the computer to your phone grab the clip drag it into sendanywhere.com this is the website and then just hit send download the app on your phone and scan the qr code or you could type in the code manually it does use wi-fi so if your wi-fi is a little bit slower it'll take a little bit longer but that's why we throw into media encoder to drag down this file size from less than 100 megabytes so that way when we're transferring from our computer to our phone it's a lot less time wasted it's also an easier way of file transferring you, I mean, you can use Google Drive. I haven't used it. I don't like using it. So send anywhere just makes it easier. Download it as soon as it gets into your phone. If you guys want any more tutorials on the Neon Text or even Twixters, I can do any of that. Just let me know. I'll be happy to do it. But yeah, that's it.